Hi friends, welcome to Code Channel and today let's take a look at how to install XLRD in Python. So XLRD libraries are used to read Excel files. You can write to them, you can read data from them and you can modify the data in them. So let's get started. First of all, if you want to keep your library separate, you need to install virtual environment and create a virtual environment for your project. So I've already created a folder named XLRD on my desktop. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to navigate to my desktop and then I'm going to create another folder. Since I already have XLRD folder on my desktop, I'm going to create new XLRD. Then I'm going to navigate to new XLRD. Now, if you are sure that you have virtual environment already installed via pip install, no need to worry. You can just see virtual env version and if it shows a version then it is already installed so now you can just create a virtual environment via virtual env command and then venv for the name of the folder it can be anything but just for convention it should be venv okay it will take just few seconds and it is done you can see that venv is created now we need to activate that environment okay it's very simple you can just type venv then scripts i press tab there and then activate as you can see on the left corner you can see venv so the environment is activated now you can do pip install sorry my space is not working pip install and then xlrd press enter and there you go installing collected packages and it has successfully installed xlrd you can check it via pip show xlrd command it will show you the latest version that is installed on your system along with the libraries required for it and fortunately it doesn't require any external libraries to work now we can just exit. You can either deactivate the environment and then exit or simply exit it for now. We are going to open that particular folder in VS Code. It is new XLRD and just select select folder. Now I'm going to create a really simple program to open an Excel file. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to navigate to that folder and then I'm going to create an Excel file. It's going to be a really simple file. Let's name it um, data set. Let's enter a few line in it. Uh, for example, let's just say name, age, and work. Okay. So let's name, age, all right. And then work as developer. Then another name just for example, age. All right, and then let's say web designer. Then save your Excel file and done. So this will be our example data set. Now open VS Code again. Create a new file either from right clicking it or this plus icon. Name it anything you like. I'm just going to name it read underscore Excel dot by. So now we are going to make a really simple program to read that Excel file. First of all, we are going to import XLRD. Then we are going to tell it the location of the file. It's going to be, uh, since it is already in my current directory in which I'm currently working, I'm just going to simply say dataset.xlsx, the complete extension as well. Now I'm just going to create another variable named workbook call this XLRD module that we have just installed and then access the method open workbook. You can simply type file location. If you don't want to assign another variable in and create a new line, you can just type the URL directly from here. But anyways, now we are going to read the contents of that file. Workbook or sheet by index. If you access it via index and then print it out, print sheet. Now, if you want to run it, I'm going to use control backtick to open the terminal. Now, if you simply run it like uh, from here, like say we run it from here. 
so it detected it and it has returned us a sheet object if you want to access values from it you need to type sheet dot cell values so here it is the method and then you need to type the index of it both row and column so if you want to access the zero row and zero column and now let's run the program again its name uh, so let's verify it I'm going to open this data set okay so as you can see this position the a1 the a column and first row is 0 comma 0 in terms of Python indexing if you want to access age you want to type 1 comma 0 let's try to type it in 1 comma 0 see okay so that's row and that's column create row here and then column here just print it out there you go you have name now if you want to access the first row and column zero it's Krishna I want to access the second row which is let me just show you the second row so zero one two this is the second row and zero column which is the first a column here so we will see max typed here and there you go and this is how you access individual values at a time making sure that XLRD is successfully installed in your system from this point you can access documentations on XLRD on how to use it and there are other modules to access and change Excel files as well We'll discuss them in another video. Thank you for watching this. Please do share and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.